Hey, hey, my name is Emilio, and in this video, we're going to look at how to play Nintendo games on your Mac. I didn't even know we could do that. Very, very easy to do. We're going to cover that in this video. Hopefully, you find it helpful. Remember, before we do that, to always subscribe to Digital Byte Computing and clicking on the bell to be kept up to date with every video that I've got releasing. Let's go through the guide right now. So you grew up playing Nintendo, you love the classic Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64 games, uh, and you want to learn how to play them on your Mac. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, you can do that. You don't need to go and buy yourself a console. You can get the consoles on eBay and other places, but they're quite expensive. I bought one, it was quite expensive. You can actually just go and get the games straight off the internet and get them running on your Mac. So here we are on our Mac. We're gonna go into Google and we're gonna search for two things. You need two things to get this to work. The first thing is what's called a emulator. Essentially, it's a piece of software that you download off the internet, you install it onto your Mac, and it mimics, essentially acts like a Nintendo console. The second thing, of course, is the games. They are called ROMs. Very, very easy to go and find them, search for them, download them, and then you just load them into the emulator. So first thing to do here on Google, on our Google machine, Nintendo emulator for Mac. Let's go and search for that. And here we've got a few different options. All right, you'll see that right here. This is the top hit. This is one that I like to use. Open Emu because it does a whole heap of stuff. It's actually an emulator for a lot of gaming consoles, not just the original Nintendo, but also Nintendo 64. You'll see that right from here, um, there is a lot of options available. So we're gonna go and download Open Emu. Uh, you go and download the one that is relevant for you. So go and download it onto your computer. Make sure that it is the Mac version. Here it is right here. Open Emu. I've got it here on my Nintendo folder in my desktop. And I can open that one up. And it's ready to go. Here it is. Here are all the consoles. This is what's brilliant about it. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. All the consoles that this emulator essentially can imitate. You see that Nintendo is listed. Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64. Atari. Atari and a whole bunch of others. So now we gotta go back into Google and download a Nintendo game ROM. And really all you're gonna do is go into Google here again and type in download Super Mario Brothers Nintendo ROM. And here you go. Here are a whole bunch of websites that let you download the Super Mario Brothers game ROM. Go to your website, download the ROM for whatever game that you need. Once you've downloaded them, here they are, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 3, Kid Icarus. And then all I'm gonna do is back in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab these and drag them in. And here are the games. You'll see that it's downloaded a nice cover image for Super Mario Brothers 3. I don't know why it's done it for the other ones. The other thing that you'll notice is the games themselves have got a .nes, N-E-S extension. Make sure that they have that. Uh, and then literally all we do is we can just double click on here and launch it. There is the game. Now, how do you play it? Well, under your Open Emu settings, under preferences, here is a console list, okay? Here is our Nintendo. Hey, look, it's the same thing, all right? So this obviously has your buttons, your buttons, and your little buttons here. And now you can actually make the buttons on your keyboard, the key keyboard keys, something specific to this. So up, which is this up, is up, down, down, etc. So you can map them. You'll see that the input here is keyboard. Now the great thing is if you do have a remote, you've purchased a remote off the internet, you've even got a Wii remote or other thing that is like Bluetooth or even over USB, you can get that. And then you'll have a bit more of a genuine experience because you're physically, you know, got a controller in your hand. But we're gonna leave it for keyboard for now. And we can now start. Okay. Look at that, brilliant. The music, can you hear the music? Come on. Here's my jump and here's my run. There you go, look at that. And it looks brilliant. I'll tell you what, Mario never looked so good, did he? Because obviously back in the day, you would have had your old school sort of TVs. Uh, it would have just been over an RCA cable. But it tell you, it looks brilliant now. Can't complain. Hey, let's, let's try another one, huh? We'll turn this game off. And let's start uh, Kid Icarus. Oh, look at that. It brings back memories, I'll tell you what. 
It's so nice being able to play all your games from your childhood, or even not, that doesn't have to be from your childhood. It could just be because you're just wanting to go fully retro, which is the in hip thing to do right now, right? There you go. Oh no, he hit me. Let's try one more. You get the point, uh, Mario Brothers 3. Look at that. I love it. Look at that. All right. There you go. So that was it. Running Nintendo games on your Mac. Hey, just, just for the sake of doing this, let's just get out of here. Let's go into our Nintendo 64. I've got some other ones in here. This is just a little bonus and grab GoldenEye. And very similarly to the Nintendo, I've got my Nintendo 64. I can open up a game right here. And there it is. It is GoldenEye. Classic James Bond GoldenEye on Nintendo 64 on an emulator. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's go that one. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know if you got this working. Let me know if you were able to download the emulator, download the ROMs, get them working on your Mac. Super easy to do. And here's a little, little thing is you can actually do the same sort of thing on phones. If your phone is a, an Android or even a um, jailbroken iPhone, if you've got a PC, Windows PC, you can also get, you can also get emulators uh, for those and play these ROMs on there as well. Thanks for watching. Comment below, as I said, like this video. And as always, please subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, clicking on the bell to be kept up to date. And it also helps me to grow my channel, which I really, really do appreciate. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.